Welcome back to Health Bulletin. Tune in for another enlightening episode where we discuss the latest advancements in a highly effective preventative HIV drug. A study has confirmed that a drug preventing HIV infection is highly effective as a real-world preventative treatment. The findings from the study, which involved 24,000 participants across England, have been described as reassuring. Thousands of people are already taking PrEP through sexual health clinics in England. The Terence Higgins Trust, a charity dedicated to HIV-related causes, is advocating for more straightforward access to a specific medication. The organization highlighted a concerning lack of awareness about the medication in significant portion of the population, including women. The UK health agency, UKHSA, which led the PrEP impact trial with the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital NHS Foundation Trust, said it was the largest ever real-world study of its kind. The comprehensive study was conducted across 157 sexual health clinics throughout England between October 2017 and July 2020. The study found use of PrEP, which also known as pre-exposure prophylaxis, can reduce the chances of getting HIV by around 86%. Clinical trials suggested the medication is 99% effective. Dr. John Saunders, who worked on the study, said, this trial has further demonstrated the effectiveness of PrEP in preventing HIV transmission and for the first time it has demonstrated the protective effect previously reported in earlier trials, but on a larger scale, and implemented through standard sexual health services in England. The Terence Higgins Trust HIV charity welcomed the study's publication, but said there was more to be done to increase access to, and awareness of the drug, particularly among some minority groups. Policymakers are emphasizing that currently, there are specific communities and individuals who would benefit from PrEP, but aren't accessing it. In fact, many women just don't know PrEP exists. The Charity Trust advocated for the availability of PrEP in pharmacies and through online platforms to broaden its accessibility. Despite the drug's proven clinical success, this study uncovered additional significant details regarding its usage. Before, we didn't know how many people would want it, take it, or how long they would stay on it for, he said. Now we know who is being prescribed it, and we can work with clinics to try and get more people to take it. As far as real-world effectiveness is concerned, it was dependent on many factors, particularly whether the drug was taken correctly. Testimony from a patient who has participated in several PrEP trials stated that taking the drug has been empowering for him as he no longer fears catching HIV. Many patients have had long-term partners who have been HIV positive since taking the drug, and that would not have been on their radar before. Many believe that there may be a hesitation to take the drug due to its association with sexual activity, but it is believed that the use of PrEP could help in reducing the stigma surrounding HIV. The UK issue stated that the drug's effectiveness would contribute to achieving the government's goal of zero HIV transmissions by 2030. However, they emphasise that increased uptake of the medication is necessary. Although the drug was most commonly used by gay and bisexual men, it could also be beneficial for individuals from various other groups, including straight women. PrEP, which contains existing HIV treatment drugs, tenofovir disoproxyl and imtricitabine, works by stopping HIV from entering the body and making copies of itself. It can be taken either as a daily pill or on an as-needed basis prior to engaging in sexual activity. The choice to broadly offer the treatment through England's NHS in 2020 was influenced by initial research outcomes and earlier clinical trial results. The study's findings were recently published in Lancet. It got delayed due to the extensive peer review process and the substantial size of the sample. The trial not only successfully prevented numerous HIV cases, but also helped in normalizing the use of PrEP. It will remove stigma and sets the stage for an efficiently commissioned PrEP service that is clinically and economically viable. But it also significantly contributes to our objective of terminating new HIV cases by 2030. Thanks for watching. 